the bowels of an old power plant, this sinister plot is hatching. Ha ha! At last the time has come to hatch my sinister plot! This lever will activate my blackout generator and the world will be thrown into eternal night! Not so fast, doctors! What? <gasps> Pajama Man! That's right, Fiend! And I have some gadgets of my own! Take that! Ah! Not the Illuminator Mark V! Do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I wish you'd pick up your socks once in a while. Sure thing, Mom. You can consider that done. Okay, Sam. You remember tonight's the night we go to sleep with the lights off. Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm ready. And I can put on my pajama Sam mask if I get scared. That's good, dear. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mom. There's no need to hide when it's dark outside. No need to hide when it's dark outside. I'm not scared. Darkness lives in my closet, but that's okay. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm scared. I can't sleep with darkness hanging around in my closet. I'm gonna have to capture him. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! Now, where's my Pajama Sam mask? I need that and my flashlight and my lunchbox. I'm sure that my stuff's in here somewhere. Hey, Internet, I'm Colorful Artie, and... Oh, I'm so glad to finally be playing Pajama Sam. No need to hide when it's dark outside. This has been requested fairly widely among quite a few of my viewers. Yes, I'm finally done with Putt-Putt for a while. And I realized I probably should have played this before Puppet Travels Three Times since this actually was released earlier. And yeah, this is a great game. So, there's a little sock on the floor here. Hey, one of my socks! Mom said I should pick these up. This is where I'll put all the socks I find. So this is kind of like the collectible in the game. There'll be socks hidden all around the uh, rooms in this. And uh, you could have to basically put them in here and match them. And there's like a funny little thing if you get them all. Oh, here's my pajama Sam mask. Gotta protect my secret identity. Now yeah, I no one will ever my know. Lunchbox and my flashlight. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite Humongous Entertainment games. <laughs> okay, never cooking on that ever again. And hey, Freddy Fish and Luffer are up there. Sam Street. <laughs> Well, all right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you were looking closely at the opening scene, there was a stuffed fatty bear in Opera Jam Sam's room. Here's my flashlight underneath all my socks. This stuff can be in different places. Illuminator Mark V Jr. It takes 2D batteries, you know. Now I just have to find my lunchbox. Yeah, so the flashlight can be in either one of these drawers. The mask can be either under the shaggy carpet or under here. Nothing there. And here's Rachel. <laughs> okay. That's Pajama Man. He's my hero. That's Pajama Man. He's strong and brave, just like me. Yeah. Woo. Hey. That's ironic because it's become uh, it's getting close to being October where I am too. Oh my gosh. How long do those leaves fall? Oopsie. Yeah, and uh, per the norm, clicking on random stuff. Can't go get mom and dad. I have to handle this by myself. Yeah, as per the norm, basically clicking on random stuff results in crazy stuff happening. Hey! My signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox! Who threw this away? I can keep darkness in here after I capture him. Okay, I'm ready to go into my closet and capture darkness! Pajama Sam's lunchbox is way cooler than Pup Putt's lunchbox. Alright, time to actually start the game now. Alright, I'm ready for action. So am I, Pajama Sam. So am I. Alright, darkness, here comes Pajama Sam! Hello? 
Is anybody in here? Darkness? Hello? This is kind of a norm with Pajam Sam games. Ta -da! Basically, Pajam Sam goes somewhere normal, and then it turns out to be like enormous and crazy inside. Wow! This looks like where darkness lives, alright. I better go find him before Mom notices I'm gone. Can I just say- Well, there's uh, no turning back now. Can I just say, I love the art style for this game. It's very dark and mysterious and, like, ominous. But also, like, all of this stuff, it's, like, made out of stuff that you actually could find in your closet. So there's, like, a clothes hanger branch. That branch looks like a baseball bat. There's just, like, stuff everywhere. But it, it's awesome. The... The art designers for this did a great job. <laughs> It is humongous. Whoosh. Does it turn? No. I was wondering if it would turn into Fatty Bear. <laughs> That's a look ahead at Pajama Sam Free. Oh, oh. Best thing to click on ever. Okay, no, not that. I remember. Back in my day, they didn't even have video games. <laughs> I can't even imagine what that would be like. Back in my day, we had Pong. Now there was a video game. Well, which is it? Did you have no video games or did you have Pong? Contradictory information. Oh, I had no idea my closet was this big on the inside. Believe it, Sam. Mamma mia. <laughs> I love that. Oh, and there's Another a sock over sock. here. I better pick it up like Mom said. I should match up these socks. Oops. Hey, a board. Can you reach it? Nope. It's too far to reach. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Whoa! Plot happens. Well, 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 why are we here? Hey! <coughs> like a flashlight and a signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. <laughs> Do you declare these before entering the land of darkness, young man? <laughs> these yeah. trees are well, so weird. No, I guess not. I, um... I think we better confiscate these items. They could be dangerous. Hey, I need those! And you're traveling in disguise. Let's see what you really look like, hmm? My Pajama Sam mask! Pajama Sam, eh? Well, all right then, Pajama Sam. You can go, but I've got my eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> These trees are great. <laughs> Now what do I do? Very helpful. They're like, oh no, you've got these items. We'd better randomly distribute them throughout the land of darkness. <laughs> it's like it's an adventure game almost. <laughs> Ow, that's gotta hurt. You can borrow that if you like. Uh, thanks. I feel bad about you losing your things. Aww. Yeah, how am I supposed to capture darkness without all my stuff? Well, I'm sure your things are here in the land of darkness somewhere. If you look around, you might be able to find them again. I hope so. I'll bring yep. you back your rope later, okay? Good luck. Thanks. Hi, how you doing? Pretty good. How about you? I can't complain. That's good. It's against the rules. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fight saucer. I really, yeah, I really like the detail put on this tree. Hi, how you doing? Well, now that we've got a rope, we can lasso this piece of wood. And believe me, you'll, we'll want to lasso the piece of wood. Ideally, I'd like to beat this in uh, one sitting. But that might take over an hour, so. Uh-oh. I hope that nice tree's not too mad that I lost a rope. 
At least I got this great piece of wood. I'm not sure if that's a fair trade. I think I'd rather have a rope than a piece of wood. I have got about an hour and a half to beat this game before I can get kicked out of the room. This tree? Um, I'm sorry, but I, uh, I lost the rope you let me borrow. Already? Oh, that was like five uh, seconds. I can probably get a new one. You're not mad? Yeah, actually, it's kind of a relief not to have to hold that rope up all day long. I just realized that, that yeah, they were using, like, her branch as, like, a noose trap. I feel kind of bad about losing your rope. Would you like to have this piece of wood instead? Ew, take it away, take it away. But you understand that's basically like, she, since she's a tree, that's basically like if someone offered you like a human body part. That oh. scary looking place up there must be Darkness's house. It's gotta be. Bet that's where I'll find him. Yep. Also, very well hidden sock Another in the trees. Sock. Let's go to the mines. Also, Pajama Sam has great music. Hey, one of my socks! <laughs> I'm Pajama Sam! I'm gonna capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox! That's great! My name's Mud. Really? <laughs> no, not really. Then why did you say it is? <laughs> Look, I I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop to loop, on, on I had. But then I got rushed. Rust? Yeah, <laughs> rushed. I love how the chips have get See, so my excited. Wheels are rusted stiffs when I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. Ooh, man, that would be the worst. I wouldn't go in there and fortify you. Hot lava and so forth. Much too dangerous on foot. You need a mine cart. You mean like you? No, you're gonna need a working mine cart. My wheels is rusted, so I can't move. Alright, dude. I'll help you out later. Really catchy music in this. Let's go to the dock. That looks like one of Dad's socks. I wonder how it got here. Wow, we've already found half of the amount of socks, and then we'll need to find their pairs, obviously, but... Hi! Hello. My name's Sam. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in a metal lunchbox. After I find my lunchbox, I mean... Oh, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. I like cheese. Hey, who doesn't? <laughs> Have you seen my signature edition all-metal Pajama Man lunchbox? Um, no. Hi again, Otto. Hello, Sam. Would you give me a ride across the river? Oh, no. <laughs> I can't go in the water. I'd sink. I'm made of wood, you know. But wood floats. No, I don't think so. I had this friend, and he told me this story about his dentist brother who, um, he was made of wood, and he got in the water, and he sank. Really? Straight <laughs> to the bottom. It's so scary. I wish I'd been a car. I think your friend was wrong. Wood floats in the water. Oh, I wish that were true. <laughs> I love how Sam, even Sam doesn't believe this story. He's like, really? <laughs> Are you sure you won't give me a lift? No, I, I can't go in the water or I'll sink. But I'm telling you, wood floats. Oh, I wish I could believe you. All right, fine. Okay, check this out. It's wood, right? Yes. All right, now watch. <laughs> See? It floats. Wood floats. Yeah? So you'll float too. Come on, give it a try. I guess. Huh? Well, so far, so good. Huh? Well, here goes nothing. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm floating. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> so oh, happy. Boy, this Grace, can I give you a ride somewhere? Come on, hop in! Also, really nice music uh, track selected here. Let's go sailing! Well, technically we can't do that since I'm not a sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean, but technically you should say, let's go floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing! Okay. And then the piece of wood sank. <laughs> oh boy.
Another sock. This area is pretty cool. What is that thing anyway? That's a geyser. A what? A geyser. It's kind of a hot spring that spurts up water and steam every so often. It works kind of like a coffee percolator. Water and passes <laughs> deep down where the rocks are hot gets heated up to the point where it would normally turn into steam. Except it doesn't because of the pressure of all the other water on top of it. So it gets really hot and it expands and it pushes some of the colder water out of the top. That relieves the pressure and all of a sudden the hot water turns into steam and POW! It erupts out <laughs> along with all the colder water on top. Then more water flows down into the deep passages, and the whole thing starts all over again. Most geysers are located in Wyoming, New Zealand, or Iceland. The word geyser originated in Iceland from their word Sam, it's like, I'm Yota, so done meaning with this. gush. Geysers are usually very unpredictable about when they erupt. The most famous exception is a geyser called Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, which erupts every 64 minutes. Uh, give or take about three minutes. It looks like this one goes off a lot more often than that. Um, thanks a lot, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The geyser screen is a lot of fun. Oh, and this is where the game starts getting really good. <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna top that. Thanks for the lift, Otto. Do You're not Otto. strand me on this I island. Float now, you know. Yes, I, I know that. Yeah, like even if you look now, it's like, oh, we've got some straw trees over there, and like a, a coat hanger, a mop, and a broom. Like they still keep doing the whole like his random stuff in his closet is acting as like the scenery in this area. It's so cool. Hi, my name's Sam. How nice. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in my lunchbox. <laughs> yes, well, why don't you run along and play then? We have important tree business to discuss. <laughs> why is it like most of the trees can't talk, but a lot of them can? Do you guys know Otto the Boat? Oh, I should say not. <laughs> Do you guys know Otto the Boat? Let's go for it. <laughs> Just where do you think you're going? Um, nowhere really, I just wanted to pass by. Just barging through like that? Without even asking permission? Have you no manners? It is customary. <laughs> oh no, this isn't another customs inspection, is it? Are you gonna take all my stuff? <laughs> I assure you, we have no interest in your stuff. <laughs> oh, good. Phew, that's a relief. I'm sorry if I offended you. May I pass through? No. No? This is an exclusive road. It's for trees only. Yes, trees only. Now, be off with you. That is, um, that's not nice. A lot of my friends are trees. Really? I know the tree across the river who holds the rope. Nice try. <laughs> I'm afraid we simply can't let you pass unless you're a tree. Couldn't I please? You don't look like a tree to me. I'll be your best friend if you let me go past. <laughs> huh. Trees only. I'm afraid we simply can't let you pass unless- Oh uh, yeah. The trees in this are a delight. <laughs> I can't capture darkness until I find all my Pajama Sam stuff. Yes, it's true, Pajama Sam. Neat! An old hollow log! Maybe there's a frog in it or something. Rats, there's nothing in here at all. Uh-oh, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm definitely stuck. I, I would hate to be in that Pajama situation. Man would handle this. Pajama Whoa! Man wouldn't have looked, put his entire face into an old hollow log in the first place. Oh my gosh, Sam's Ow. face is kind of shaped like Sauron's. Good day, fellow tree. <laughs> and a good day to you as well. There are, I didn't know trees could walk. <laughs> so hopefully there's the brown uh, sock that doesn't appear. Hey, 
That's my signature edition all-metal Pajama Man lunchbox over there. You better believe it. Is that my Pajama Sam mask? This mask belongs to the people. <laughs> no, it belongs to me. It sure looks like my mask. Property is theft, man. Anyway, I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the Salad Liberation Front. The what? The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of being relegated to the salad. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I just want my mask back. I'll tell you what. The other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness's kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, it's a deal. Great. I'll come with you to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Excellent. Okay, sure. Yeah, weird guy. <laughs> there are a lot of uh, crazy characters in the Pajama Sam series. I can't get to it through all these plants with big thorns on them. I wish I had super tough skin like Pajama Man. Yeah, that would be I guess nice. I better put my ingenious disguise back on. <laughs> it is a pretty good disguise, I will Whoa. admit. Good fortune to you. Thank you, fellow tree. Alright, nothing weird to see here. Every tree has a cape and feet and can move. <laughs> nothing suspicious about this at all. Dum -de -dum. I got, I've got to admit, Pajama Sam is walking on the path, but despite the fact he can't see it, so that's pretty impressive. There. Hopefully he didn't get any splinters in his face, that would be the worst. Oh boy. There's this guy. Hi, I'm Sam. I'd like to cross the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't try to butter me up. If you want to go across, you'll have to pay a toll. How much is the toll? One pound of gold. <laughs> Yeah, he's asking for a pound of freaking gold to enter the bridge area. Nope. Hot dog cattails. It's an oil can. <laughs> nice pose and there. No oil in it. <laughs> Look in the window, Sam. Hey, that's my flashlight. My flashlight's in there. 